the ground. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Student master teacher here coming to you reporting another sad case, another victim to the hands of the police with no justice. Mr. Latif Dickerson. You might remember the dude got kicked in the head. You just saw the video. Kicked in the head, broke his face. And guess what? That officer acquitted. No justice. No peace. Well, it looked like plenty of peace here because when the officer did it, he was put on administrative leave, paid leave. Sit back, collect the check with your taxpayer dollars, and, you know, all this has gone through, and he just got to quit it. What do you think about that? I mean, it's like, what the hell? No matter what we do or what happens, they can beat you down, brutalize you, kill you right on camera like they choked out Eric Garner, right on camera in your face, and nothing happens. They beat Rodney King in your face, and nothing happens. This Latif Dickerson kicked him in the face, beat him, broke his face, damage this man, and then you want to sit up here and just acquit him, like, oh, well, the police was doing his job. What'd he do? Didn't get out quick enough? They remind you of the civil rights era when they tell you, get out, nigga, bam, and they hit you. You ain't moving quick enough. You got to move quick for them, I guess. I mean, it's like, what the hell? You just let them do whatever they want to you, and then they tell you to love your enemy. Love your enemy, no matter what they do to you. Brutalize you, beat you down, castrate you, burn you alive put you on a cross, burn you up, all this stuff, these atrocities they've done. And people say, oh, that's in the past. They still doing it today. This is a prime example of this. Still doing the same stuff today they've been doing for over 400 plus years. Same stuff. No justice. Latif Dickerson, another victim. Add that to the long list of all the other people that's been brutalized by the police. What do you think about this silliness? And the police just get acquitted like it's nothing. You're just supposed to forget about it. This is sad. Very sad. I don't understand why they just can just get away with this. Oh, well, he black. He don't have no, you know, rules or regulations or anything or nothing to protect him. But they're going to bring all these Syrians over here, these Syrian refugees. Matter of fact, they're bringing them right into St. Louis. I just heard it on the radio today. They're bringing a whole bunch of them right here to St. Louis. Probably bring them to your state too, in the city. So, you know, it, it's just sad. It's like, why are they bringing all these people in, brutalizing the people that's here? And it's like they're trying to bring them in to replace us. Is that what they're trying to do? I don't know. It's a sad case. Latif Dickerson, another victim. Kicked in the head. What do you think about this? What are we going to do? March again? We ain't going to do nothing. Because it don't matter what we do. It's like it don't even matter about the body cams. They saying put body cams out on these police officers and dash cams. You got them right on tape doing this stuff. And it don't make a difference. It don't make a difference in their criminal justice system. No difference whatsoever. Enough of my rambling. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Chris Monroe STL and visit the new website, ChrisMonroeSTL.com. Get you some RBG gear like this hat here, the flag, or any other stuff. We got a lot of stuff coming up on there at Chris Monroe STL. And you know what else? I'll see you before you see me. Peace and black power.